All right, so welcome to the Sultan's Palace here in Jogjakarta, everybody. And Ivana and I are feeling very lucky today because the minute we walked in the front door of the Sultan's Palace, they were just starting to put on a traditional song and dance performance, which was traditional instruments and really, really beautiful traditional costumes. Now, this performance itself was more like a theatrical performance because there were singers in the band naturally, but there was even some singing and some dialogue and some storytelling by the performers themselves. So it was a bit unfortunate that we could not follow the story because although Ivana speaks Indonesian, the performance was in Javanese. And if you look closely at the masks and the costumes, you might be reminded of something that you've previously seen in Bali. Even this uh, railing right here, which is in the back of the Sultan's Palace here, this face might remind you of something you've seen in Bali or even something you've seen in India, because believe it or not, the entire performance we just saw was a Hindu performance. So you can mark me down as very surprised. I never thought I would see a Hindu performance on the island of Java in a sultan's palace. And so what we're learning is Jogjakarta is one of the epicenters of Javanese culture because for thousands of years it's been the capital city of different empires including Hindu empires and even Buddhist temples are found here. So pretty impressive to me. I think all the crowd really enjoyed the show. There was lots of foreign tourists naturally as well as plenty of local tourists which was pretty good to see. So it's been a pretty good morning and now we're just in the back of the Sultan's Palace. There's all these buildings that are sort of behind this blue tape and my understanding would be the Sultan must live in one of these buildings. Because believe it or not, this is the only part of Indonesia that the Sultan still has some power. Because of the incredible history of Jogjakarta and all these empires, uh, we are now in the special administrative region of Jogjakarta. So obviously democratic country of Indonesia, but this one part still has some power. The Sultan still has some political power. Now you have to pardon me for being very tired because we are in the Sultan's palace and so naturally it's a very respectful place and so we are dressed appropriately including no hats. So the sun is bright and my pale bald head is really sucking the energy right out of me but uh, despite that I'm having a very good time and so our next stop is to go to a place called Maliaboro which I believe is a traditional street market with lots of this Javanese culture we can sink our teeth into. Uh, I believe handicraft and little intricate handmade things is part of the Javanese culture. So let's head back towards the front door and make our way to Maliaboro Street Market and see if we can learn more about Javanese culture. Oh yes, looks good. Uh, cold, oh very cold. Very cold, dingin. Dingin sekali. Sekali. Dingin sekali. Iya. Mau yang apa? Oh, pokari sweat. Pokari mau. Pokari dingin. Ah, berapa? 10.000 pokari. Sepuluh 10.000. Dingin banget nih, Yen. More dingin, more dingin. Iya. Oh, ya. Almost frozen. Iya. Good. 5.000. Oh, this one is frozen. Good idea. Yes. Bagus. Iya. Uh, enak. Oh, ya. Oh, ya. Oke, ah, sepuluh. One. Thank you. No need, no need. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, some fence. No, thank you. So nice. No, thank you. Uh, we go Maliboro. No, it's okay, we can walk. Thank you, though, thank you. Jalan, jalan. It's okay, thank you. Jalan. Maliboro. Jalan-jalan sehat. Jalan-jalan sehat. Jalan-jalan banyak. Sehat, sehat means healthy. Healthy. Oh, I thought it meant a lot. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Woo! All right. To be clear, we've made it about five steps out of the Sultan's Palace and very kind lady selling some ice cold honestly it's not even ice cold anymore it's already hot ivana 
Woo! Okay, I will say this, very friendly people in Indonesia, always joking around, always uh, speaking English. If you speak a few words of Bahasa, they always react very well. Right. Very friendly people right. in Indonesia. Uh, Jakarta and Jogja are the same. Right. No. But now we will try to go to Malioboro, like I said. So let's go see if we can uh, make it there. Okay, we've made it to Malioboro Street where we've got lots of traditional, almost like horse and buggy. Actually, it is horse and buggy. And we've got more traditional music. Good. So, pretty exciting place to be. I guess this is the street market. Traditional horse and buggy, as well as they have this other thing we've noticed which is like a bicycle where two people sit in the front. There's one coming soon. So here we are, uh, Malia Boro Street. Now, to be clear, you've been here many times? Uh, not many times. This is my third time. So the last time I was here though, it was probably over 10 years ago. Ah. And it seems a bit different than what I remember. It used to be very crowded, very chaotic with like street vendors all over. Hold on, hold on. You're describing this as not crowded and not chaotic. Or you mean more uh, crowded and more chaotic? Yeah, in ah. the past. Like they used to have like street vendors everywhere. Oh. See how empty this is? Look at this. This is empty. Oh, like uh, like like carts selling yeah, food and stuff. Carts, yeah. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So uh, interesting how different eyes see different things. Because I see this and I see, wow, what a crowded street market. And Ivana sees this and says, oh, it used to be so much more crowded. Uh, so these are the buggies I was telling you about earlier. Okay. No, thank you. Thanks, so. Now, uh, uh, they used to have bikes. Now they uh, use motorized. Oh, it's a motorcycle. Okay, yeah, okay. Motorized bike. Used to be bicycle. Fair enough. And so I will say this: uh, the salespeople are not too pushy, which is a good thing. They say, "Do you like this? Want to buy this?" I say, "No, thanks." They say, "Okay," because uh, sometimes you can almost feel like a tourist trap when it's just right. everyone trying to sell you stuff and they kind of want uh, your money. But the people are friendly and. Sort of all around. Hey, Sate. Oh, Sate. Annam. Hey, Nak. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. Uh, Brapa. And it looks so good. Okay, enough. Uh, uh, it's a pulu. Okay. 20,000. Uh, ayam. Satay ayam. Good. Something about satay, it just looks so good. Oh, Ken. Satu. Uh, berapa? 5,000. 5,000. Boleh, boleh, boleh. Bisa, bisa. Okay. Okay. Makasi, yeah? Okay. Peanut sauce and sambal. Yeah. And sweet soy sauce, no? Yeah. Sweet soy sauce. Uh, uh, ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. Oh, ketchup, manis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, manis ketchup. Okay. <laughs> That's my can. That's my can. Yeah, makasi, bro. Okay. Uh, so far, so good in Malibu. Look at this. I love the lineup here. Uh, horse and buggy. 
Talk about a nice place to walk along and eat some satay. I'm good. Pretty good. Good. Hey, Nick. Five stars. What's that song? By Otis Redding. What song? Sitting on a bench with satay. Watching go away. The last one, guys. Ah. <laughs> now we know why it was Looks so affordable. Like it's been uh, eaten. <laughs> <laughs> No problem. For for a dollar fifty, can't yeah. go wrong. Mm -hmm. So it looks like all the street vendors are gone, except those ladies that are selling satays on the road. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Everything banned except for satay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can find them. They must be somewhere. Yeah. What were they selling before? Food or? Food, clothes, merchandise. Some of this Javanese culture that yeah. we keep hearing about. Yeah. Okay, so let's go find them. They must be somewhere. Thank you. I tell you what, Ivana. I know you're missing the vendors everywhere, but because I've never seen the vendors before, <laughs> I think Maliboro is awesome. It's still pretty crowded. <laughs> it's still pretty great, and there's tons of action all around. Uh, loving this kind of stuff. Just loving it. And I tell you what, quite often my favorite parts of traveling is when I am in a different place, obviously, and I just feel like a fly on the wall. I just feel like I am in a totally different society learning how it works and I'm just sort of blending in and although there is a bit of uh, people approaching us right because I'm foreigner yeah uh, it's not on the level of like a Bali which for me is too touristic oh no this no, is sort no. of a nice blend of I'm seeing local interesting culture I'm obviously standing out a little bit and they're approaching me but I still feel like I'm uh, sort of a fly on a wall in a totally different culture which is uh obviously japanese yeah you know what jokia is not touristy just for the foreigners but also for the indonesian tourists ah. the domestic travelers right right well. right yeah yeah it's a good point because uh people all around coming and going and quite often you'll see what looks like a local in the back of these buggies so obviously a local tourist enjoying the uh festivities but i tell you what uh Malioboro, five stars this is a nice place to walk you like if you're into people watching if you're into just feeling the vibe of a city <laughs> uh vibe check jogja five stars very nice also lots of beautiful batik shops on the street of Malioboro. everywhere you look batik and batik and batik and batik is like indonesian traditional clothing you can see this is the really traditional one from Jogja. Very cool. Wow. It's good for shopping here. Shopping street of Malioboro. And in terms of the instruments, this is one of the coolest instruments I've seen. It seems to be all around Jogja. be made of bamboo and somehow they play it with a little block in their hands and it's so loud and it's always ding 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 and it's so loud and uh really great instrument really. Oh. I think they used to have a cart on the street here this is the thing you're talking about yeah kind of like this now they're selling it. so you're saying there's there was like hundreds of these yes everywhere uh, all around the street which would really yeah. boost up the atmosphere. Okay, they moved here. Let's get some lumpia. Uh, what's lumpia? Hello. Uh, apa ini? Lumpia. Lumpia. Oh, I am. Lumpia sami jaya yang viral tu dulu. Dulu di sana, kita bawa terus sudah di sini. Dulu pakai gerobak tu gambarnya itu. Nah, itu. Ah, the cart. Dulu di gerobak. Ya, sudah lima puluh tahun. Oh, fifty years in a Fifty years. Yeah. Can you ask why there's no more carts? Terus pindah ke sini. Jadi sini kata sama Pak Sultan nggak boleh tahu kaki lima. The Sultan said uh, they cannot sell on the street anymore, so they moved to this little shop here. Oh, the Sultan shut it down. Yes. Fair enough. To make it more organized. Oh, maybe it was like super crazy. Yeah. Was it like Caballeran Lama? Almost. Maybe. Almost. No, my my pasar. Ah. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Uh, lumpia yeah. special. Lumpia is Indonesian spring roll. 
Spring roll. Spring roll, yeah. Okay, for me, do, want, do uh, a special. Special? Yeah, they are. Makansini. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Good job. Makansini, you know what it means? Eat here. Yeah. Getting better. Okay, makan dulu. Oh, chili's on the side. Yeah, chili is on the side. Tell That's me, how Indonesian... tell me the idea is to just bite the chili in your mouth. Yeah. You Indonesian people are crazy, man. You Indonesian people are crazy, man. You're gonna you're gonna bite the spring roll and then bite the chili in your mouth. Yes, like this. Spring roll. What's the what's the fear? Garlic. Garlic. Okay, this is good. Oh, you crazy man. Oh, you crazy man. <laughs> cannot. Cannot. <laughs> Cannot. It's good though. Really good. Mm. Very flavorful. <laughs> uh, I am special. So it's chicken and egg. Chicken and egg. And <laughs> I told you, it's too spicy. <laughs> spicy. Yo, uh, I always ask Ivana, are you more? Do you feel more Canadian or do you feel more Indonesian? She says both. <laughs> when we left Indonesia for three years because of COVID, and everything, then we came back, and Ivana said this food is way too spicy. And Ivana had stomach problems, and I said, Ivana, oh, yeah. you're a, you're at least a little bit the Canadian is, because <laughs> Indonesian take the spice. The thing, I really really like spicy food. My tongue and my taste bud really love it, but my stomach cannot take it. Oh, in the Indonesian tongue with Canadian stomach. <laughs> yeah. Oh no no no. Okay, try, try your try <laughs> okay, your shirt. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna obviously do at least one bite of chili okay. for the vlog. Okay, chili. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> it's good though, right? Oh gosh. The thing is. Oh gosh. The flavor of the chili. It's so fresh. It actually helps the flavor. Yeah, and this is a pickle. You can also pair it with pickles. Oh, it's pickle. Yeah. Try again. Achar. Try it with achar. It's good. <laughs> it's very good. Put the garlic on top. Yeah. Yo, this is five star food. This is very craveable. It's good, right? It's very good. So that's the garlic sauce. Try it with the pickle eh. as well. Mmm. <laughs> it's very good. It's good. Love it. Oh my god, my mouth is on fire. It's really good street food. Ooh. Really good street uh, food. Let me clear. That's five star food. It's yeah. better than satay. That might be six star what? street food. Wow. It's very good. The garlic on top. I mean, yeah. they said they were here 50 years, this. so they've mastered this. That's true. She said it was viral, but I didn't know Very about good. this. Very good. Viral? Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. My mouth is on fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, really, Steve? <laughs> wow, you're a champ. Look at me. I don't think I can finish that. <laughs> it's better with the chili. <laughs> wow. You My like, mouth is on fire. You got an Indonesian taste bud already. Because you finished all the chilies. The problem is I have Canadian stomach. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this might be a regret. Next step, milk and yogurt for dinner. <laughs> Woo! A knack. A knack. But, uh, padas, padas. Woo! But, a knack. Suka chili. Suka um, chili. Suka chili. Sedikit, sedikit. Enak. Okay. Lima bintang. Lima bintang. Lima bintang. Terima kasih. Ah, terima kasih. Terima kasih ya. Terima kasih. Woo, I tell you what. My lips are on fire. Um, <laughs> title of the vlog: Most livable part of Indonesia is Yogyakarta. For me, really? for me, for me, yes. Wow. Oh, maybe not. Okay, for you, you're born and raised Jakarta. Um. I think I like Jogja better. True, to right? To be honest, Jakarta is too crowded, too chaotic. Too big. Too big. Good to travel, good to experience. It's For me, it's a little too big. Yeah. And obviously, guys, we've been to so many different parts of Indonesia. Lombok, Nusa Penida, Komodo Islands, uh, Bali, obviously. Yeah. Uh, for me, Jogja is just the right mix. Mm. It's got a big city vibe. It's got lots of cultural stuff. It's got the markets here where everyone's around and it's getting more chaotic. But it's not up to Jakarta level where uh, too much chaos for me. That's right. That's right. Uh, so I have now dubbed Jakarta. <laughs> so hot. My lips are on fire. I have now dubbed. Oh, I can't even talk. <laughs> Dang. 
So I have now dubbed Jogja most livable city in Indonesia by me. Wow. Boomba. Okay, next stop, we're gonna try to find these. So my milk is so hot. I'm gonna try to find the um, the shops that Ivan was talking about, stalls. Because the lady at the Lumpia stall said there's a place down here where they put all the stalls yeah. into one building. They have moved everyone into one Indoors. Building. Yeah. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, I'm so, my milk is so hot I can't talk. Hey, bro. All right. Ted ass Malioboro. So for Ivana's eyes, this is a brand new concept. For my eyes, the whole place is a new concept. It looks like a mall. Looks like a mall. Which I guess this is sort of the nature of things. The good thing is they've cleaned up the street, made it more walkable. Yeah. Although I feel like it's not gonna have the same vibe in here. The street with all the sellers would be would capture the spirit of uh, travel and tourism and excitement and interesting more than this mall will. But this is the nature of things. You must take the good with the bad. Oh, it's huge. Oh, it's like an indoor market now. Food are here now. Ah. I tell you what, it's still interesting for me. I don't mind it. It's still quite interesting for me. Would you say this is better than the previous version or? Um, Hard to say. It's better. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's Good. Organized. Yeah, for me it's okay. Uh, quite interesting. I will say this. I am regretting these chilies, man. Oh my gosh. 31 years old and still overdosing on chilies. Ay, ay, ay. But uh, interesting place and two floors. Okay, not bad. Maybe we can head upstairs and find some yogurt. Oh, right here. This is yogurt. Another lumpia seller. Hello. Uh, Apaini. Cool time. Coconut. Coconut. Coconut water. Uh, my stomach padas. <laughs> Coconut, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so to cool time. Please. Thank you. I tell you what. I was wrong. I was concerned they took all the street vendors off the street and put them in like a mall. But this is still cool. It's all crowded. It's all food everywhere. It's all people around. Selling all different stuff. The vibe is still complete. So in this instance, I support Sultan's decision. We went to his palace today. He put on a festival for us. And in return, I say good choice to <laughs> clean up the street there. Shout out to the Sultan. So just around the corner from the food market, we have the handicraft shop. And I think by this point, I'm starting to get a good idea what they mean when they say that Jogja is the center of Javanese culture. Batik, Ivana was showing you. The music that we saw this morning, as well as the dancing that we saw this morning. And these handicrafts. So I sort of love the idea of Javanese because it's from the island of Java. Yeah. Uh, but also, Javanese is a race yeah. and also a language. Right. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it was like a nationality almost, like I'm from Java, I'm Javanese, race and language. And with these three things, you get this rich culture that sort of supersedes religion because it was Buddhist, it was Hindu, now it's Islam, and it sort of supersedes politics. They got sultans, they got democracy, but it just is this sort of really, at least for my eyes, rich and interesting uh, characters. Culture and look at these characters. <laughs> looks like uh, looks like, like me. Too, no? Looks like me after too much tuak <laughs> in uh, in Sarawak there. <laughs> Okay, there you have it guys. I think with that, we can um, maybe go for some more cold drinks to cool my stomach. <laughs> You won't believe it, guys. Everywhere we go, the Sultan is throwing us a party or a parade. You won't believe the timing. Here it comes. Da -da -da -da. Shout out to Jogja. <laughs>
Jakarta. This morning we went to the palace, we had an accidental show there, and now we're just ending the day having a cold beer on the balcony, and there's a full-on parade. Now, to be clear, it's not the biggest parade ever, but uh, it's a parade nonetheless. I'm sort of chasing it down the street here. <laughs> so cool. And the cars behind it, just, just in traffic, waiting for the parade. What a sight to see. Horses, traffic behind a parade. What a sight to see. Uh, for me, it has been a great first day in Jogja. Pure action, very eventful, and very fun day in Jogja. I will say it again, my most livable city in Indonesia. Okay, Vana, what do you say? What do you say? Very nice, very nice. Thank you, Sultan, for putting that carnival together. It's cool. <laughs> nice, right? <laughs> Everywhere we go today. Mm -hmm. from, from morning till night, the accidental party. Yeah. Best. Okay, there you have it, guys. Uh, toast, and we'll see you guys in the next Joga Jakarta vlog. We'll see how many more accidental uh, parties we stumble into. <laughs> Cheers. Pretty good.